Israel, they're lying. They lie incessantly. Are the soldiers are you who were it wounded for granted lying? That they are telling the truth? What about the soldiers who were wounded? Those soldiers should be dead if we were terrorists. Why are they alive? Because we're not there accept, to kill people. Do you accept so soldiers were shot? No, I don't accept that. So the soldier who says he showed. Do you know how many soldiers died in the invasion of Gaza last year? The point. Do you know how they died? I'm interviewing you. I'm interviewing you because you were involved in this. Where's the footage of shooting Israeli soldiers? I'm interviewing you because you were involved. I had a pistol in my hand. I had a nine millimeter pistol in my hand. I'm an ex marine. I've been in combat. I've served in a war situation. If I wanted to kill an Israeli soldier, I can guarantee you he would be dead right now. How did you feel? Tell us how you felt when you were involved, because you were involved, as you say, you weren't on the. I felt like I was involved in protecting innocent people from dying. I'd already seen one dead body, and soon I saw several more. And this Israeli commando, for all I know, was the murderer of one of my brothers over there. So you're holding so three So disarming of them. him was saving life. What did you not do with those attacking. three? You make the point that you eventually released them. What did you do with the three that you were holding? They were given medical attention by a doctor, and that's fairly well established at this point. Are you angry with them? Yes, I was. Yes, absolutely. They just killed people who were on a humanitarian mission. Of course I was angry. There did were a lot of them? angry people. Did you beat them up? I didn't beat them up. No. No, I did not. Did you but, do I, but I don't have a problem with those who defended themselves and who beat up, apparently, some Israeli commandos who were on board and killed nine people, at least. What the hell is the problem with that? Sure. If somebody came no, in your there home... There are lots of people who would argue that, you know, that they shouldn't have done what they did. Israel might be the first, the first to say that it regrets loss of life. But the argument That's is the extent of provocation. They say it was self-defense. And one of the commandos describes, the fourth commander to come down, describes landing and seeing his team leader with a, his own pistol being held to his head. And he says that is why he fired. Wow. Now, I know you weren't on the top That's deck, but you amazing. don't know that that didn't happen. And that so, would be an explanation. You're a military man. Sure. That would be an explanation of why, what triggered it. The predictable consequences of what Israel did would be loss of life. And the loss of life was not on their side, it was our side. And the loss of life would have been on their side, except for we're not murderers. The Israelis are the murderers. We had three people, commandos, who may have been the murderers of our brothers and their living another day. They are going to feel the embrace of their loved ones once again, the sunshine on their skin, because we let them go. What about the people that you, who, the other people on board that ship? Because one of the things that Israel says is that of the 700, there were 700 of you on that ship, of that 700, 50 were extremists, as they call it. And the group that organized this, IHH, a Turkish group, has had some very extreme criticism of it in the past. And this is not just from the Israelis. Do you know enough about the people you were involved with? You know, you know what I do know? Israel has released a statement, the IDF has released a, released a statement saying that I am involved in, quote, terrorist activity. I'm a radical, anti-Israeli activist, and this is important, that I was going to Gaza to train commando units for Hamas. So, if you ask me, do I believe Israel when it repeats its lies? No, I don't believe Israel. They are lying consistently, and anybody with their eyes open can see that. Forget Israel. Let's talk about a French magistrate, Jean-Louis Brugier, who said of IHH that it played an important role in an attempt to bomb Los Angeles airport. That I've was read back that. That, that. that whole magistrate situation has been completely discredited. I invite everyone who's watching this program to go and see the evidence used by that magistrate to accuse IHH of any serious terrorist involvement. It's absolute rubbish as he well. He also talked of the leader of IHH who was on the ship with you, that he had tried to recruit soldiers for a holy war in the 1990s. You know what? We live in a world of Orwellian doublespeak, where the peacenik is the terrorist and the terrorist is the peacenik. I have refused to accept Israeli accusations when, in fact, they do everything they can to hide the truth. I'll quote Zippy Livni for saying in the invasion of Gaza that the Palestinians in Gaza, there is no humanitarian uh, disaster in Gaza. This is how they feel about it because okay. if there You don't was like the French judge, you don't like Israel. What about a, the, the Danish Institute for International Studies said that the IHH was a front for funding terrorist groups? Nelson Mandela was a terrorist, according to Margaret Thatcher and uh, Ronald Reagan. Uh, so I guess maybe that man is falsely accused as well. Where's the evidence? Where's the evidence? But you're ch isn't this changing the ground rules? I mean, this is in terms of what these people... Changing the ground rules? What do you know about AHH? What do you know about what they're it's doing? It's not my job to go and, and spend uh, time investigating every activity of every person that I deal with. I stand by what I've done, and I am proud to have stood shoulder to shoulder with my brothers from IHH and around the world who did the right thing, and who with refused Hamas? to accept the unacceptable. And with Hamas? And Hamas? 
you know what? The IRA is now a part of the government in Ireland, but they were the terrorists of their day as well. If Hamas had been allowed an opportunity to give the political chance, the political process an opportunity, maybe they would not be involved in violent resistance as they are. But However, why, why they have it? never been People given an opportunity think at this all. This is double standards. I mean, just as, no would you, standard. Well, in terms of the way you were talking about what Israel does and what you're talking about Hamas does. People were critical of the IRA when it did what it did, and it was only when it turned to political means that it was deemed acceptable. Amnesty says of Hamas that it engaged in a campaign of abductions, deliberate and unlawful killings and torture. I do not stand by any one or any institution that violates human rights. However, do what you I will that say, Hamas does? what I yes, I do, and I will say absolutely 100% without reservation, I support the right of self-defense without any doubt I would be involved myself in violent resistance if I were a citizen of Palestine or Iraq or Afghanistan. And if I were a citizen of the United States or Britain and someone from halfway around the world came into my country and started stealing my land and killing my family, guess what? I would defend my country as well. So. I absolutely 100% defend the right of self-defense, and I will never shy away from that. I will not join the long list of embarrassments who condemn terrorism while and forgetting to acknowledge that the biggest terrorist on the planet is the United States government for all of its terrorism that around Israel the world. Israel has a right to defend itself. Absolutely, every country does, and, it, and that's exactly why the hypocrisy and the lies of Israel are so transparent. Are you telling me we don't have the right to defend, our, defend ourselves when I saw dead bodies on that ship and we were hitting people with bars and sticks? We don't have the right to defend ourselves, but they do, do they? Hamas doesn't recognize the right of Israel to exist. You know what that sounds like to me? That sounds like the African National Congress and Nelson Mandela refusing to accept apartheid and recognize apartheid. I say that Israel, if it wants to be a genuine partner in any kind of peace, needs to destroy its whole ideology of Zionism. Zionism mm -hmm. that makes other people goyim, who do not deserve to be in the Holy Land. That's the real problem. If Israel will embrace every people, including Palestinians, equally, human rights respected across the board, then I would challenge Hamas to change its charter and say we will acknowledge Israel. But until that time, I see no difference between Nelson Mandela and Hamas in refusing to accept apartheid or the Zionist Israeli state. The Israeli government, their first job is to defend their citizens. They have rocket attacks from Gaza. They have intercepted, in, in 2009, the Frankop holding hundreds of tons of, of war material for Hezbollah. In 2002, the Karim A holding dozens of tons of weapons for Hamas, sailing to Gaza from Iran. They are trying to defend their right to exist. That is why they, their argument is it's self-defense. And uh, if you believe that, then I've got some swamp land in Florida to sell you as well. If you wanted peace and you carried out the policies of Israel, then you'd have to believe that these people are the biggest idiots ever. It's like America saying it wants peace, yet conducting state-sponsored terrorism in Iraq and Afghanistan. That's a lie. Israel is lying. They don't want peace. Are they lying when peace, they say there was no peace humanitarian aid? Peace for Israel aid on the ship. to them and the Zionist agenda is the end of the Zionist project. They don't want peace. It's a lie. It's an absolute lie. And the policies to any thinking Does person Hamas reflect want peace? that. I can't speak for Hamas. I think that I, I, what I do know, what I do know about Hamas is that they've actually done something to help their people. And they have also, I think, helped to give ammunition to their enemies by violating human rights and not doing everything that they should do to respect the rule of law. I'm not going to sit here and defend Hamas any more than I'm going to defend anyone who violates human rights. However, Hamas has done a lot to help its people, and for that it has to be given credit. And, and it well, also and cannot be And do not think bought. that the Israeli people would say that of their own government. They elected it. I actually think that the Israeli government is a reflection of the propaganda that has made the Israeli people so ignorant of the facts. Or defensive. They are under constant rocket attack. They feel that they How do... How many people have the rocket attacks killed? These are glorified fireworks against the fourth largest military in the world with the latest technology and weapons of mass 3, destruction. 3,000 rockets out of Gaza in 3, the last 3,000 rockets three years. that killed how many people?